Welcome How back. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing great. How are you guys? Good. What was it, JD, talking with, with Dan and, and this opportunity that maybe just clicked and, and you thought it was the, the perfect fit for you? I mean, honestly, like, there's a lot of things that go into that, but I mean, one, definitely the familiarity, like, knowing that this is the place that pretty much raised me and knowing, like, how much I enjoyed it, especially getting the chance to, like, see and really realize how much I missed it, like, while I was gone, too, you know, like, it's every time wasn't always a good time, but I'm telling you, it's ball here is fun. Like, I love playing. I love playing in that stadium. I love being the ride around the city. I love being able to see the Michigan summers, the winters. I'm still still learning, you know, still trying to grow on me, but I enjoy this place, man. I really do. I really do. And it just feels right. Like, even thinking about being here again, like, it just feels right more than anything. What do you think will be different, or what do you want to be different about this time around? I mean, just as far as maybe scheme, how you can how you can fit in with it, and just the different the coaching staff. Well, the biggest thing with all that is, you know, it's obviously going to change. There's new people here, and you know, I got a chance to kind of sit down with them before I left, um, and even coming back and being able to talk to the guys and really just getting a good feel for the connections that can be made and filling out where I can fit in and, you know, just come in and just be me. But the biggest thing that I know will change is just who I am and how I approach things every day, you know. Not to say that it was bad before, but I think it could be more efficient. It could be better, you know, and just being a better teammate, being a better football player, being a better leader, being a better friend, you know, just, just overall just growth. And, you know, there's a lot of things that I've got a chance to experience while during my time away um, and just got a really just eye-opening experience to just life in general. And, you know, I'm excited to be able to come and still have an opportunity to play and have fun doing what I love. I'd like to just follow up on that. Uh, is that a maturity? Is that an age experience, maturity thing? Is it on field, off field, both? Can I think it's both. I think it's, I think it's a culmination of all those things, you know, like, I mean, over time in your life, like you grow up, we're all human beings, you know, and we got to understand, like, we got to have a real, real understanding. We got to take the time to look within, you know, we can always look outside and point the finger and be like, this could have been this, this could have been that. But it's like, when are you going to ask yourself, what could you have been, you know? And when are you going to decide internally, like, enough is enough. And when are you going to try to be a better person every single day when you have the opportunity, you know? So that's my that's my ultimate goal coming back to Detroit. Jared, you were the football guy of football guys when you were here, and that's what we do: eat, sleep, drink football. And last year, you talked about how you pondered retirement, like you didn't have that that work life balance, kind of what you've just been discussing. So, yeah. what what did you change in your life to to better, I guess, make yourself a more well rounded person? I mean, the biggest thing for me is finding finding a new number one. You know, like, football has been my number one for so long. Like, I started playing this game since I was six years old, and I've loved it ever since I stepped on the field. And finding something I've understood, like, finding something to challenge me just as much as football does, if not even a little bit more, that is honestly a little bit more fulfilling, makes football a lot easier, you know? And that's my spirituality. That's my my friendships, my relationships, my, my life with my wife, my child, like, different things like that to really just help me understand that this life has more things in it than football. And it makes things a little bit less easier and it makes the weight a lot, a lot lighter. So, you know, that's been my biggest thing. Speaking of the friendships, um, Alex Anzalone said last year that he reached out to you about what it was like playing and living here. Yeah. I wonder how much you've been in contact with him over the last uh, even couple of weeks here maybe. Well, I haven't talked to him in the past couple of weeks because I didn't really know what was going to shake out, you know. But now, I mean, I'm excited to get that connection going again and be able to be in the meeting room, be able to be in the locker room with this guy, be able to hang out with them outside of being college kids that had no money. Now, you know, we got a little bit of coins and you're going to have a little bit of fun, and hang out, experience the, the joys of this world, you know, and just being able to really cultivate that relationship and take it off from where it left off when we were in Florida together. I'm um, really excited to be able to play next to somebody like that, play with somebody and compete with somebody like that every single day because the guy's fun, he's loving, he's caring, 
and he just loves to compete. He loves to work hard, super athletic, and just a great overall person, you know? So I'm excited to go to work with him. Football conversation like with with Dan and, and AG and those guys when they just got down to maybe talking about maybe how you fit or, or talking about this defense. What excited you about about those conversations? I mean, a lot of it just comes down to really just having a simplicity in the scheme to where guys can go out and just play fast. We have an understanding of what exactly we need to do um, on each and each and every play, and each and every down, so we can just go out there and execute. And you know, through my time away, just learning that. A lot of things like the connection piece I just spoke about, like really cultivating those bonds within the team. Like that's something that, you know, we kind of lacked a little bit while I was here. Just really like driving those things home to really build it up, to make sure that everybody is one unit out there. It's going to be really exciting to work at this off season. Just reaching out to guys, like taking the time, like the sm to do the small things, like, because it's, I mean, everything is in the details, so. Just decided to really build that up. You had that ankle injury in 2019 that, that really kind of derailed your momentum here mm -hmm. uh, last year. I don't know if it was the same ankle, but kind of derailed your, your season in New York. Um, what, what's the, I guess, the status of, of your health? How are your ankles at, at this point? I feel really good, man. I feel really good. Um, done a lot of work this off season. Did a lot of work last year to kind of get back on the field. Wasn't my same self still. Um, just playing with injuries has been something that I've had to really, really understand that that's not always the route to go. You know, I mean, as a competitor, as a football player at heart, like I want to be out there no matter what. But I just, through my years of trying to do that, I've really understood that that's not the route to go. And that's something I have to own, you know, as a player. Like, I have to be real. Like, at the end of the day, your tape is king. And what people see out there is what they're going to, ultimately label you as and and that's okay like for a long time that that messed with me but I get it like I really understand it now so I've done a lot of work to take care of myself and get myself back to where I need to be and the off season is not over you know it's it's kind of it's really early still so I'm going to be doing a lot more work to really bring forth my best product this year even though you spent four years here already Jared does it feel or how much does it feel like a new beginning because you have this fresh perspective and the coaching staff is, is different and so many of the players are different. I mean, it feels brand new, honestly. And it's just, it's amazing, like, how life works, you know? Like, when you step away from something or you step away from a thing and you feel like you don't know what's going to happen after that. After you turn your back and you walk out the door, like, you don't know if that door is going to ever open up again. You don't know what it's going to hold. You don't know what the, the reunion looks like. You don't know anything, if there is even going to be a reunion. But it's just amazing to be able to have an opportunity to come back in this building and to be able to go to work. Like, I, I love it. Like, I, this place is just so familiar. Like, I know it. There's people I know in the city that can help me be a better person, a better player. There's, there's so many things that excite me about coming back to Detroit. And it's just a matter of staying focused and getting the job done. How do you view goals differently this time around? I mean, as a first round pick, the expectation are you walk in the door and you're the starter. Um, I imagine it's it's different this this go around. You gotta maybe earn it a little bit more than. Yeah. Uh, so so what, what's what's your expectations, your goals for this, this upcoming season? I mean, honestly, my job to do every day is to go out there and as an individual, is to go out there and work as hard as I can every single day. Doesn't matter who sees me, doesn't matter what they think about me, it doesn't matter what what they say. Like, my job is to go out and put my best foot forward and just continue to take any and every step I can to get better. Any baby step, I'll take it. I love those. Like, that's how I, that's, that's how I came up. And go back and look at my history. Like, I wasn't a four-year starter in high school. I wasn't a four-year starter in college. My junior year, before I got a chance to really play and show what I was made of at Florida, like, I was on the bench. Like. There's so many things that I've had to overcome, and this is just one more thing in my life. And it excites me because I've told people plenty of times, like, it's, it's not always easy to be on the top of the mountain. It's not always easy. But for me, my whole entire life, I've loved the hunt. I've loved the climb. Like, I appreciate that. I appreciate how much it brings the best out of me. Like, I appreciate how much it pushes me to really grow and develop. So I'm excited for any opportunity, any shot I can get. If I'm hearing you correctly, are you 
are you saying like there was ex, um, external criticism that you think you were taking too hard and paying too much attention to and it was affecting your play? And I, I guess I'm trying to figure out what exactly you're referring I to. I think, you know, I mean, as a human being, you know, you, you kind of, we say we want to ignore the noise. We say we want to do all these things, but it's really hard. You know, it's challenging. And as a football player, it's not easy to go out and work hard every single day of the week, week in and week out, and come home without the result that you want, you know? So you have to, like, I've, I've had to learn how to really balance and understand that this thing is not going to be an overnight thing, you know? And yeah, there's been a lot of time put in, but the time it takes is the time it takes. So at the end of the day, it's not a whole lot of things. I don't think, I mean, maybe a couple Madden games that I've ever quit, but like, I'm gonna keep working as long as they allow me to come in the building, you know? And when the result comes, I'm gonna be ecstatic, I'm gonna be emotional, I'm gonna be excited, happy and everything. But until then, I'm gonna keep working, you know, so. I wonder if you've had a chance to, to meet with Aaron Glenn yet and your first impressions of him. I mean, I've, I actually got a chance to talk with him a little bit last year when everything started, you know, with free agency and just being able to sit down and feel him and hear what he's like, hear what he says, but also just feel like the energy that's coming from him. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I mean, there's a lot of former players on this staff, man, and just being able to understand the challenges of what it was like for them to be a player in their day and age playing the game and what, you know, what's similar for us, what's a little bit new and how to circumvent those things and how to conquer those things, you know? So that guy right there, man, I'm excited just to be able to sit down with him as much as I can to understand how he's wired and just get to know him as a defensive coordinator and how he likes to call plays, man, because I feel like that can be can be a very, very great asset because he has that mentality that a lot of us do when we go out there on Sundays and play. Be coached by Calvin too. <laughs> that is funny, but it's, it's awesome, man. Like, I mean, while he was here in Detroit playing, we got a chance to really connect a little bit, you know, early mornings and a little bit late nights, just watching film and really just understanding the scheme and what we were trying to do at that time. Just being able to sit down in the film room and connect and just talk talk ball, talk a little bit about life, you know, just figure each other out. And, you know, it's a different role now, different dynamics. He's a coach, I'm a player, but at the same time, like, it's somebody I feel comfortable coming to and talking to and really just saying, hey, bro, like, I need you to push me more or, hey, man, like, I'm not getting this and not feel any type of way about it because we already laid that groundwork. So I think that's really special, you know. I don't know a lot of guys that actually have gotten the chance to ever do that. So I'm really grateful for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you guys. Good seeing you guys.